So we're here right outside National Taiwan University's main library where a new U-Bike 2.0 station has just been launched. Uh, you can unlock using a QR code uh, linked to a Taiwan bank credit or debit card, or you can continue using the easy card. Uh, the new thing with these stations is that all the electronics are on top of the bike and not as part of a connected station. So that allows these stations not to be connected to underground utilities, meaning these stations can expand everywhere. They don't need that expensive hardware uh, connected to the grid anymore. Uh, so some new problems that I kind of foresee here. One, the app is completely in Chinese. Two, it only takes Taiwan debit and credit cards. And then uh, three, since these stations do not have kiosks, um, there's no way that a foreigner with a debit or credit card can rent these bikes. So again, this is just a three month pilot trial happening in the Gongguan area, which is where uh, it's the most popular bike share stations in all of Taiwan, thanks to National Taiwan University, which has tens of thousands of students. Uh, if this trial is successful, it will uh, replace all of the existing bike share stations and bikes with this new system. So that's uh, the bikes uh, provided by Giant and Momentum with the hardware now on top of the bike. And so that will, again, greatly expand the density of bike share stations, which ideally is a two to five minute walk from each other. Uh, so this has a potential for a huge impact here in Taiwan and uh, other systems that may use this technology in the future. And uh, just from our quick test run this morning, that seems to be working fine, the QR scan. Uh, you just QR scan to unlock and a little QR code um, actually is dynamically generated onto the bike LED screen. You scan that with your phone and then you can ride off and then you just dock at a station and you don't need to uh, QR scan again to end your trip, which is a difference for people that are used to using the transport card, easy card. Uh, the requirement for that is when you start a trip, you scan the easy card, and then when you end the trip, you scan it again and it will deduct the money. But since uh, the QR scan is connected to the app and then your bank card, uh, that is now uh, no longer a requirement. So again, very exciting news coming out of here in uh, Gongguan District.